Your morning news now. President Biden warned that the possible overturn of Roe versus Wade is about a lot more than abortion. Chief Justice John Roberts has called for an investigation into the leak of a Supreme Court majority draft opinion from February. It suggests the court's landmark 1973 ruling protecting abortion rights should be overturned. It was first reported by Politico. Russia is stepping up bombardments across Ukraine in efforts to destroy infrastructure, including power, power and rail lines. Russian troops are trying to cut off incoming weapon supplies to Ukrainian forces. Speaker Nancy Pelosi says voting on a measure to provide $33 billion of new aid to Ukraine could take place as early as next week. The U.S. is averaging nearly 58,000 new cases of COVID-19 per day. According to Johns Hopkins University, that's roughly a 10% hike from the week before. The CDC's latest ensemble forecast predicts more than 10,000 additional COVID-19 deaths before May 28th. The U.S. is less than 3,300 deaths short of 1 million since the start of the pandemic. The good news, however, the World Health Organization reported COVID-19 cases and deaths are at their lowest globally in more than two years. Lots of clouds today, but seasonable temperatures with a high of 68 and east to southeast winds very light at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Cooley Cap is buying three properties in La Crosse's Washburn neighborhood to preserve affordable housing. The rentals will include a combination of one and two bedroom apartments and a single family home. Rent for a one bedroom apartment is $724 a month. A two bedroom is $930. The Franciscan sisters awarded Cooley Cap roughly $210,000 to put towards the properties. Down payment. Ultra Federal Credit Union also gave Cooley Cap a below market rate fixed mortgage. Lacrosse's Vietnam War Veterans Memorial Project is coming together. Wednesday, the American Legion Riders escorted pieces of the memorial's wall from Lacrosse Memorial to Veterans Freedom Park. The memorial's wall includes the names of Wisconsin Vietnam War veterans killed in action. A dedication is expected to take place next month. You can still donate to the project. We have a link at news8000.com. It is National Travel and Tourism Week. The Wisconsin Tourism is holding strong. According to data from the Travel Recovery Insights report, the state outpaced the national average on travel spending for two straight years. Governor Tony Evers says Wisconsin fared better than Minnesota, Illinois, and Michigan, and Evers stopped in La Crosse Tuesday to explore what the city has to offer. Lots of clouds here today with temperatures warming up into the 60s by noon. High of 68 degrees later this afternoon. Light east to southeast winds at 5 to 10. You can keep up with the news of the day on news8000.com. We've got the latest stories coming up on News 8 now at noon. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow.